Greetings and salutations. I am your humble Adobe instructor, AJ Wood, and we're talking Photoshop CS5. Today's tips are brought to you by KJ Images, and I want to thank Kevin for bringing me on for this series. We're going to be taking a look at the Layers panel, specifically how you can use keyboard shortcuts to maximize your workflow. Let's go ahead and jump in. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in to get a little bit closer. And as many of you know, if you wanted to unlock the background layer, you'd simply double click. But doing so brings up a dialog prompt. So here's my first tip. If you want to bypass that dialog prompt, hold the Option or the Alt key and double click. Now you've got the layer unlocked, no prompt. The next tip that I have for you is to duplicate a layer or to copy a selection. What you can do is simply press Command or Control J and that will duplicate the layer and or the selection. Next, I want to talk about blend modes. As many of you know, your layers have different blend modes. They're actually divided into sections. So we can lighten, we can darken, we have an overlay series. You can even set luminosity blending. What I want to talk about is how you use your keyboard to cycle through those modes and even pick a blend mode. If you use your shift with the plus and minus keys, you can cycle through the various blend modes of your image. If you actually want to choose a specific blend mode, you can press Shift Option M for multiply. You could press Shift Option or Shift Alt S for screen. You could press Shift Option or Shift Alt O for overlay. You could press Shift Option or Shift Alt Y for luminosity. And then I can press Shift Option or Shift Alt N to get me back to the normal view. There are actually specific keyboard shortcuts for each one of the blend mode commands. But I don't want you to have to focus on memorizing that whole entire list. Okay? So you'll notice what I've done is I've just shown you the key blend mode commands for different sections. So I'm going to grab Shift Option N for multiply, then Shift Plus and Minus to go through that section. I'll do Shift Option S for screen, and then Shift Plus and Minus to go through that section. So if I wanted soft light, I would simply press Shift Option O, and then do Shift Plus, and now I have the soft light blend mode. Let's talk next about creating a new layer. If you want to create a new layer, you can press Command Shift N, that'd be Control Shift N on the PC, and that'll make a new layer. But once again, it prompts us with a dialog box. To get past the dialog box, you guessed it, remember the Option or the Alt key. So let me do that again. If you press Command Option Shift N or Control Alt Shift N, new blank layer, no dialog prompt. Let's talk about filling that layer. If I want to fill the layer with the foreground color, it's Option or Alt Backspace. If I want to fill the layer with the background color, it's Command or Control Backspace. I'm going to go ahead and fill with the foreground color, and let's talk next about opacity. If you want to change the opacity of the layer, you have to use your 10 key numeric keypad. So if I dial 1, I get 10%, 20%, 56% by dialing 5, 6. Dial 0 gives me 100% opacity. Now, there's a catch. Pay close attention to my screen if this isn't working for you. I'm going to bring up my tools and my option bar. I want you to see that currently I have the move tool. If you're using a non-brush tool, using your keyboard is going to change the layer. So 10%, 34%, 60%, 100% opacity. Using my shift plus and minus, changes the blend mode of that orange layer. Watch, however, when I pick my brush tool. If I select my brush tool, notice that it also has a blend mode and it also has opacity. Watch very carefully as I use my number pad to go to 10% opacity on the brush, 45% opacity on the brush, 100% opacity on the brush. Watch as I use Shift, Plus, and Minus to cycle through the blend modes on the brush. So let me be clear. If you're using a brush-based tool, 
The keyboard shortcuts you just learned are going to change the blend mode on the brush and the opacity of the brush. If you want to change your layers, be certain that you've chosen a non-brush tool. So in my case, I chose the Move tool. I'll flip back to the Move tool, and once again, you can see I can cycle through the blend modes, and I can change the opacity on the layer. Let's talk next about moving or selecting layers. If I want to actually change the layer that's selected, you can press Option or Alt and use the square bracket key. So look closely. I can choose the middle layer. I can choose the bottom layer. I can choose the top layer. So I'm using Option or Alt and the square bracket keys. If you actually want to move the selected layer, use Command or Control with the square bracket keys. So I can take the top layer and move it to the middle, and I can also move it to the bottom. Take that back and move it to the middle, move it to the top. So now I want to change the blend mode. Okay, I have here, this is overlay. I'm going to go ahead and dial it down to 34%. Now I've got that orange layer blended with the layer just underneath. If I wanted to merge the layers together, Command or Control E merges down. All right, so Command or Control E merges down. Now I'm going to undo that command with a Command or Control Z because sometimes what you want to do is merge everything to a new layer. Right? So I don't want to destroy the layers that I have. What I'd like to do is merge everything to a new layer. So this is a large shortcut. Pay attention. It is Command Option Shift E on the Mac or Command excuse me, Control-Alt-Shift-E on the PC. This is the Merge Everything command. So now what I've done is I've merged everything to a new layer. So I'm AJ Wood. I appreciate you being here today. Those are some quick keyboard shortcuts focusing on layers. Appreciate you being there. Have an excellent day.